There's an enrollment boom at Cottage Forest School in Berrien Springs, but you wouldn't be able to count the kids in the classroom. That's because they aren't in a classroom. We found them in a forest. This is not camp or a field trip or even recess. This is school. This is Cottage Forest School. Research shows that children who learn outdoors actually do better academically than children who are in a traditional school. Melissa Morgan founded Cottage Forest School seven years ago out of her rural Berrien Springs area home. Now the 50 children enrolled in kindergarten through eighth grade meet most days nearby at Camp Betts, and they spend most of the day in the forest. We've got 57 acres here on Lake Chapin. It's gorgeous. We have all the space we can use. I journaled about the forest. Morgan modeled the school after the forest school movement in Europe. A large body of research on the forest school philosophy shows children benefit from using the outdoors as the classroom. We see this every day. Like you don't need research to tell you. But like, research just confirms our experience here. And they're more creative. They learn um, practical skills. They learn cri critical thinking. So many things fall into place when you have nature as the backdrop and the context for education and for teaching. Morgan says everything at Cottage Forest School, including the curriculum, is based on three pillars, nature, scripture, and character development. And we want to balance out the whole learning of the child, not just the academics. We need, you know, mind, body, and spirit, hands, heart, head. There are four full-time teachers at Cottage Forest School. They all have experience homeschooling their own kids, and some have children who attend here now. <laughs> Katie Bauer's kids are all grown up. And so I just said, you know, I want something out of the box. I want to teach kids like the way I homeschool. So it's natural to me to be in this kind of environment. I love it. Bowers is a licensed teacher. She's teaching third through fifth graders this year. We're pretty much on target with the traditional schools and sometimes even more advanced. Her students are studying all the same subjects they would be learning in a traditional school setting, like math, reading, history, and science. So we fit those in, but it doesn't have to look the way a traditional school does. Like we can practice um, finding perimeter during mathematics by measuring things in nature. And kids get, are really engaged. That's what I find with the forest school method in this um, it's uh, curiosity-based, driven learning, so they're excited about Sorry. what they're learning. If the river's here... The students spend around half the day inside around the table learning family style. There are no computers or technology. It has a homeschool feel. The other half of the day is spent outside in nature, rain or shine or snow. It's what about so when it's super cold and snowy? When it's super cold and snowy and windy, that's probably my favorite time to be outside. Jack Fenner is your typical fifth grader. My favorite subject in school is probably art right now. But on this day, instead of spending time on his Chromebook or tablet, he and his classmates are stacking wood, shoveling mulch, and playing around in the forest. They build forts, they explore, they tan beaver hides. Like you see, they, they learn survival skills. Um, they interact socially with each other. When she started Cottage Forest School seven years ago, this isn't what Morgan had set out to do. It's much more. I'm not proud, I'm just odd. I'm just odd. She hopes to keep growing and helping kids plant their academic roots in nature. We want to inspire as many people to do this because we see how good, how good it is. I'll put more information on Cottage Forest School on our website, including what it costs and how to get on the waiting list. And on Wednesday, what enrollment at this small school says about the bigger picture of school enrollment. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.